What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve, thank you for joining us. And today we're talking about a Jordan brand sneaker that is new, relatively new in the Jordan lineage. This is the second iteration of this Jordan lifestyle sneaker. It features a lot of cool elements and I was very pleased with the first iteration. And now we have the second iteration and what I think is the type of shoe that if you're someone who is into those designer brand sneakers, but you don't wanna pay $900 a pair because that's just ridiculous, this is a shoe you should definitely check out and consider getting your hands on. Today we are talking about the Jordan Delta 2s in this crazy blue and white colorway. And there is so much to like about this sneaker from the previous Deltas, and there are even some new features and some new design elements we're gonna talk about. But before we get into that, let's first take a closer look. All right, guys, now you've seen a closer look at these bad boys right here. I wanna first welcome you if you are new here. Thank you for joining us and to the returning subscribers. It's always good to see you guys again, of course. If you're new, consider hitting the like and subscribe, of course, joining the family. And drop a comment letting me know what you think about these sneakers as well. I will respond to the comments down there. And also check out my helpful links down in the description below. Link to cop these, link for protective shoe spray to keep your kicks clean, links for my favorite sneaker books down in the description, as well as a link to my Amazon store where I have all the camera gear that I use to make these videos for you to check out. If you are interested in becoming a YouTuber yourself, you can check out those links. Let me know if you are checking those things out so I can thank you down in the comments. Now, let's talk about the Delta 2s. So when the first Jordan Deltas came out, I was pretty excited because they looked very dope in photos and they were kind of piggybacking on what a lot of designer sneakers have been doing recently, which is going for that kind of overly technical, mixed material, kind of futuristic look, but Jordan Brand was saying, hey, you don't gotta pay seven, eight, nine hundred bucks, we'll do it for a hundred and some change for you and give you basically the same look and probably very similar materials. Now, I would, I would guess that the designers are probably using Italian leather or whatever, but I mean, after some wears and, and breaking them in, who really cares? I mean, is, is, is it comfortable or is it not? It's really what it comes down to. And I loved the first Deltas, the Delta Ones, especially one of the launch colorways was this beautiful mix of sail and white and cream. It was done very, very well. And these Delta Twos, they've gone a little bit heavier on the branding, and I think they've almost up the chunkiness factor with this as well, because comparing the two silhouettes, this feels almost like it could be a mid-cut in a lot of ways when you look at it with this really thick, chunky uh, midsole. And I gotta be real, I think the added branding takes a little bit away from me in terms of appreciating this shoe. I do like the chunkier aesthetic though. I think that that's a nice look. I think that's kind of what's trendy. I think that the Delta line in general was kind of meant to take on the modern sneaker trends and put it into one sneaker for you to enjoy. And it really seems like that's what they're going with, kind of a, a very cutting edge sneaker of the future. So I appreciate that. And branding, of course, has ebbed and flowed, but it is pretty heavily prevalent on all kinds of things. I mean, you look at some of the crazy stuff that like Balenciaga releases and you're like, it's a t-shirt that just has Balenciaga all over it and it's 900 bucks but that's what some people are into. So I understand why they're going with some more Jordan branding on this sneaker. I think I appreciate the more subtlety of the Delta Ones and the Delta Breathes, but this is still, from a silhouette and materials and, and construction standpoint, still one of the doper releases you'll see from Jordan brand outside of the retro. So let's talk about this overlaid, crazy mix of materials we have here. You've got leather around the heel counter, probably a synthetic or a bonded leather. It doesn't feel super high quality, but that's fine. A cotton heel tab with a finishing overlay of suede around there. You've got a little bit more suede along the medial side here. So it kind of take, brings these two together. And then you've got this really cool tealy kind of aqua marine looking mesh overlay that surrounds most of the upper and then some more leather for the eyelets. Now these eyelets aren't even being used. So it's kind of an optional eyelet deal here. You've got some uh, fabric eyelets inside the sneaker and then you can choose to use these if you'd like, maybe even lace the, the, the majority of these laces back and through all of these eyelets and kind of have kind of a, a no tying type of situation here. There's clearly some room for innovation here and I'm sure someone's gonna do some pretty cool things utilizing having two sets of eyelets here, who knows. More leather around the toe here, a little hit of black suede there as well. And then we get into the midsole, which is a all react foam midsole 
feels great now. You have, just like the Delta Ones, you have these rubber pieces here that create more of a stabilizing feel so that you're not just riding on a bunch of React foam because that can get pretty wobbly as you, know, you would experience that in something like the Overbrakes if you've put those on before. So these little hits of rubber here keep you more planted and stable. And I think that lends to a better experience in terms of feel and fit. And then lastly, you've got a padded tongue going up to some nice rope laces and the Jordan brand tab at the top of the tongue there. So now that brings us into the branding elements. The Delta Ones had a little bit less branding on them. Actually, I think a lot of bit less branding. I think the most prevalent branding on the Delta Ones was along the heel counter. There was a modern take on the Jordan Wings logo that was just like dashes going across it. And that again was like the most prevalent thing that denoted that this was a Jordan brand shoe. And I think it lended well to what they were going for there. This one is upping the ante in terms of branding because on the tab here, you have this big Jordan in red letters. It's upside down actually. And then here it says, inspired by greatness designed for flight. Typical Jordan style kind of branding here with some kind of serial number looking, uh, debossing on this rubber piece here, 00023. Again, that kind of informational kind of aesthetic. And then here you have a Jordan Jumpman tag, which is kind of placed here by the, the eyelet. And then you have Jordan spelled out. And then they have the J-O and then a space for the tab, R-D-A-N. And this kind of like playful uh, placing of Jordan on the lateral side here is kind of what turns me off the most in terms of the over branding on this sneaker. I just, I'm just not that into it. And it's just a personal opinion. Now let's get into the fit and the feel on this sneaker. That is something that I loved about the Delta Ones and it continues with this. It is a super comfortable shoe. It was designed for casual use. You could probably do some athletic training in it. You could probably run in it, but this is designed as like a, you know, sportswear type of casual use sneaker. And all of that React Foam does exactly what you're hoping. It gives you a nice cushy ride. And then like I said before, these rubber hits here give you a nice stabilizing feel so you're not wobbling on a bunch of foam. It's really the perfect combination, in my opinion, for stability and comfort. I love the way that these feel. They feel just like the Delta Ones. It's a continuation of great comfort and probably some improvements were a little tweaked here and there, but overall they feel just like I remember the Delta Ones feeling. The other nice thing about the material choices on this upper is there's not a ton of leather. There's a lot of this mesh and a little bit of this suede here. So this is gonna be very resistant to creasing and, and looking beat up. As long as you're taking care of this and using that protective shoe spray I have linked in the description, these are gonna last for a good long while as long as you take care of them. So that's another thing. The wear and tear on this is going to look minimal. That's another plus. That's another thing that makes this worth the purchase. And so really what it comes down to are the aesthetics. Is this a shoe that you like to wear aesthetically? Because it is not necessarily something that everyone is going to be into. It's definitely on the trendier side. So it's going to appease some people. It's going to thrill some people. It's going to make other people want to use the vomit emoji. I will of course have links to cop down in the description for you to check out. And as far as fit goes, I went with my true size. I have no complaints. So whatever your true size is in Jordan brand, I would go with that and they fit fantastic. So that does it for me guys on this video of the Jordan Delta 2s in the Cerulean University Red and Coastal colorway, a very dope Jordan lifestyle brand sneaker that I think a lot of people are going to be into and are going to love the feel and the comfort on these things here. So if you're feeling them, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know if you want a different colorway, if this one isn't doing it for you, kind of like it isn't for me. And I will respond to you guys down there. Again, if you're new here, consider hitting that like and subscribe. I very much appreciate you guys. Your likes, comments, engagements, your subscriptions, all of that is the reason why this channel is growing. You guys are the best. Thank you very much. Again, check out my helpful links, links to cop, links to protect and keep your shoes clean, links to my favorite sneaker books, as well as the camera gear I use to make these YouTube videos. And with all that being said, hope you have a good day, good evening, good night, whenever you are watching this, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.